Hi map fans, I've had a request from Mark through the YouTube channel, so thanks very much Mark for getting in touch. And he'd like to know how we can make a selection of his data uh, just to show specific parts. So we're going to look at making a selection and then saving it as a new shape file. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this, so today I'm just going to show you one. If you'd like to see more, I'll make a playlist that includes all the varied and different ways we could achieve this. Let's get going. So Mark's been following the playlist of how to make your own ordnance survey map and he's downloaded a tile of data from the vector district data set. So you can see the playlist on how to do that and here it is. doesn't look very pretty at all. I've applied no styling to this, it's just been dumped in. I have reorganized some of my layers just for fun. But if we go in here you can see it's... Uh, it's an awful lot of data. Now Mark's only interested in one area. He wants to know major roads between Chelsea and Wimbledon. First of all, let's separate this out so that we can see a little bit more of what's going on. So I'm going to choose my road. I'm going to hold down control and choose road tunnel. And I'd like to group these. So I'm going to right click, go to group selected, and that'll default to group one. I'm going to rename it to roads and then I'm going to select everything else hold down shift and it'll select everything in between in my layers panel and I'm going to group this and call it not roads so rename not roads I'll turn off everything that's not a road and here we've just got roads and tunnels showing on the map this is looking good but we do have an awful lot of roads. You might also notice that we don't have any labels and my knowledge of London is terrible so I'm going to add in a base map so I can get my bearings and if I go up to view and then go to panels I can choose to view the browser panel. Now in the browser panel under XYZ tiles in QGIS 3 you'll have a default option of OpenStreetMap. So I'm going to add that in underneath my roads and it's gone into the Not Roads group so I'll just finagle that out and there's OpenStreetMap. Now this will provide us with labels so I can get my bearings. I'm just going to switch off the roads and switch off the tunnels I'm going to go in, I'm looking for Chelsea and I'm looking for Wimbledon. There's Chelsea and there's Wimbledon. Superb! So now I know where I am. I'm going to turn my roads back on and I'm going to select the road layer and then I'm going to go up and make a selection and you can see here I've got select features by area or a single click and I'm going to select features by area so if I hold down my left mouse button I can draw a big square and I'm going to include everything between Chelsea and Wimbledon let go and you'll see that my roads turn yellow that means that they're selected fantastic with these roads selected what I can then do is right click on my road layer and go to save as and QGIS 3 is going to default to the geo package format I'm actually going to change that to an Esri shapefile and then I need to choose a place to save it so I have a folder set up here already and I'm just going to call it roads clip and I'll save that as a shapefile. Uh, I'm going to stick with the CRS that the data came in. And here in the encoding, I'd like to save only selected features. And that's what's going to perform the clip. So I'm going to OK that. And you can kind of see a different color there. If I turn off the original roads layer, and I turn off the open street map layer, now we have just the roads in between Chelsea and Wimbledon. So that's a very simple way that we can clip out a section of our data. 
Now of course we've got all the roads in here so you could go in and do some thematic styling in order to pull out just the major roads, that's fine. I have another video for that. But thanks a lot for watching, please like this video if you like it and again if you'd like to see more on selection methods I'll put together a playlist of the various different ways we can do it. Don't forget to subscribe and happy mapping.